Okay, guys, I got another application review for you. So, yeah. As you know, Ice That Menu has failed. Right there was Ice That Menu. And it does not work in Snow Leopard. So, I went and downloaded this right here. It'll be in the video description, so if y'all want to try it out. At Monitor. You might heard Emix 77 the Apple Soldier talk about it. So, I went and downloaded it. Um, I just went on Google and type app monitor and it just showed me the uh, website I was on. It's linked to Apple's website, so I guess it's uh, So, it gives you your CPU, your CPU temperature, your RAM usage, your GPU usage, your GPU temperature, your virtual RAM using, and your frames per second, and your hard drive space and activity. And your network connection so it is so customizable guys see I go right here I'll move that out of the way go to preferences right here you can change your menu bars text I mean you can change it to background like if I change it to developer I can change that background to uh, you know like Blue, change it to blue. I don't want to just keep it on pro, it just looks a little better. Or text, I, I sometimes I keep it on text too. You can change it to about anything you want. You can um, go to menu, I mean your CPU, change the colors, which is in uh, the CPU right here. The green is the user usage, so that's what you're using. And the red right here is the um, system usage. CPU temperature, change the color of that. RAM, CPU, CPU temperature, virtual RAM, frames per second, disk, um, space, and what? How many more gigs you got on your hard drive, whatever. And your uh, internet or Safari or whatever. And then you go over here and you can choose what you want in the uh, menu bar. I got everything in mine. So you check that little box right there. And it will put it in there. And you can change the color. I mean, not the color, but the uh, text size. As you see, it goes bigger. And then it's smaller. And then you can put it up to 12 if you want. I don't know, just keep mine on 9 or 10. And then you can change um, the floating window, which is this. <clears throat> Excellent little program right here that I included with it. Um, I keep mine on desktop all the time, like about right there. Or right there, or something like that. Um... Floating window, you can have everything in there. Flames per second, and it's mostly the same thing up here. But it's in the floating window, and it shows you your CPU a lot better than that does. Uh, it's 37 usage, um, and QuickTime Player 10 is the most CPU usage in here. Like, uh, if I click on that, it's 30%. What's well, uh, now? It's 19%, 24%. Keeps going. And if I go right here, it'll show me my core, um, not that, right here, four core, I mean four core, and it shows me my core temperature, 77 Fahrenheit, 76 Fahrenheit, 78 Fahrenheit, and 78 Fahrenheit too. So it's very handy if you want to know your temperatures and stuff like that. It's a lot more, you know, professional than, um, Ice That Menu was, um, and a lot more customizable guys um, you can customize that floating window to make your fancy and your menu bar if I go to my menu bar and go back to theme and change it to text all of this is text not a graph no more and I do like it sometimes um, um, you can change it to that it's just a little like graph and then you can change it to pro and it'll give you a graph and percentage too so 
that is a pretty good application guy I think it's freeware it's completely free uh, I will give you a link in the video description to it excellent um, little um, system profile I guess what you call it and um, you really don't know how good it is until you download it and try it so I'm gonna see you guys in my next video comment rest on my videos thank you and I will have some more pixel my tutorials up in a couple of days and some more snow leopard videos up just telling you uh, the new features of Snow Leopard and if I find anything else. So comment right on my videos. Thank you.